all built in-house. All built in-house. What would you say the percentage of your parts are built in-house? Do you have an idea of that? We're, we're pushing 90%. 90%. Right at 90%. Made in America, made in Great Gridley. In Gridley, California. Nice. Now because it's a cold rainy day in January, I thought we'd spend some time in the shop. And not just any shop, Sutter Buttes Manufacturing. If Santa Claus was a farmer, this is what his workshop would look like. 400 degrees, whoa! Wrapped in the American flag. You guys by any chance recognize the color? First though, let's think back to the warm sunny days in October when I was out visiting the Stone Rystrom family farming operation. They had the new 8600 Kloss Harvest Combine that was cutting at an amazing rate and also unloading at an amazing rate. When I was riding with Gary, he told me that he needed to purchase a new bank out wagon or self-propelled grain cart to keep up with his new 8600 Kloss Harvest Combine because it just unloads so fast. Well, anyway, a lot of you asked where that bank out wagon was manufactured. Well, coincidentally, right here at Sutter Buttes Manufacturing. Let's go inside, meet the owner, Nevada Smith, and he's gonna give us a tour. It's gonna be a lot of fun, let's go. Hey Matthew, welcome to Sutter Buttes Manufacturing. I'm Nevada Smith. Come on out, let's go see the shop. All right, I have a feeling I'm gonna be following you around a lot today, Nevada. So Nevada, I just wanna first say before we get into the tour of your shop here, thank you very much for having us. I think a lot of my audience are gonna find what you're doing here very interesting. I certainly feel it's important because you are innovating the equipment that we're using in the fields and making our job a lot easier. So thank you for having us. Thank you for doing what you do. Would you please just kind of give an introduction to yourself, the family man, the farmer, before we get into the shop and what's happening out here? Yeah, I'm, so I'm Nevada Smith. I'm a family farmer here in uh, Northern California. Um, I've been farming, this will be my 20th year farming. Unlike most farmers, I am a first generation farmer. Not only are we now not farming just rice, we're farming um, some almonds and some walnuts also. My wife's involved. My 20 year old daughter's involved and I have two younger sons that are six and eight that love coming out to the farm and helping. When I first started off farming, I had a little bit of a manufacturing background and not much of a farming background, but I knew farming was my passion and that's what I wanted to, to do in life. And I started off building all my own equipment and that's what's brought us into building equipment at Sutter Buttes Manufacturing. We have expanded it today to having around 60 employees building orchard cabs for Case, New Holland, Massey Ferguson, and now we have our own ag truck line, which were once called a bank out that we've changed their name and turned them into an ag truck because not only are we banking out rice, we are spraying rice, we are stomping rice, and finding all sorts of other utilities that our ag truck can be used for as just a um, like a tractor. Okay, I like that. Changing the name for your bank out wagons because it's doing so much more than just banking out rice. Correct. And a lot of people across the country, they're not familiar even with a bank out. They're usually using grain carts and things like that, right? Yeah, a bank out essentially is just a self-propelled grain cart, but we only know it as a bank out in our Northern California backyard. Right, and now you've taken that bank out and you've turned it into a sprayer and a stomper and a bank out. Correct. That's awesome, and we're gonna look at all that stuff right now. Yes. All right. Come, come, come and see. Okay, let's do it. I love the sounds inside the shop. I apologize if any of it gets too loud, but I'll adjust the audio. We want to hear everything that Nevada has to say. Anyway, here we go. Here is one of our new bank out carts, ag trucks that we are building. This one's about two weeks away and it'll be featured at the Calusa Ag Show. This one will be outfitted as a sprayer with a 90 foot boom, a 500 gallon tank, and of course the V-wheels that we use in Northern California to spray our rice. The ag trucks are equipped with tier four coming 6.7 engines, Allison 3000 transmissions, 
The axles and transfer case are both Axle Tech products. The cab is a Crimlo cab built um, special just for us. And then, of course, we'll outfit it with a, our new modern fiberglass hood. So come on up, let's look inside the cab. Okay. Super spacious, well insulated. Wow, I'm used to just the metal metal boxes on the old bank outs that we have. Yeah, big improvement on, on that. And uh, having all of our functions that we need for all three setups, a bank out, a sprayer, or a stomper, all at our fingertips with a hand throttle. Wow, I see, okay. What's that for? Our cup holder. Oh, nice. So, Nevada, what's that? This is our ag truck grain bin. It'll hold 250 sacks of rice. It's hydraulically operated with a hydraulic floor auger and a hydraulic vertical auger. 250 sacks dry, so for the kids out there, how many pounds is that? 25,000 pounds of rice. Wow. This ag truck's outfitted with the 250 sack grain bin, and it's about just, they're just doing all the finishing touches on it and testing it out. In fact, Cummings is here today and we just fired up the engine for the first time. Awesome. What's that sound? Sound is over here is we got grinders grinding, polishing, and making all of our finished products, putting all the fine touches on it and making them look beautiful. Wow. Let's go out to powder and check out what's, seen, what's going on in powder. The powder room? The powder room. These are pump crates that we're powdering for our local friends and neighbor farmers, the McFerrins. Nice. It's kind of hot. It feels hot. Yeah, it's kind of 400 degrees right now. 400 degrees? Whoa! Yeah. So once we get done powdering over there, we'll put it in this oven here and we'll bake it until all the temperature of the steel gets up to around 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Then we'll take it out and let it cool. Let's go look at the finished product. I can feel the heat from here. Jeez. So how long does it take to cook a pizza in there? We cook pizzas on a semi-regular basis, but it takes about 45 minutes to cook a pizza. The trick is to cooking a pizza in a powder coat oven is to preheat the table so you have no cold spots in the middle. Thanks, pro tip. Outside now and it's actually a little bit more comfortable than standing next to that oven. Check it out. So here's some finished products that were just pulled out of the oven about an hour ago. And you can see once it's, once it's out of the oven and cooled down, it's fully cured and ready to be assembled. Still warm. Okay, we're gonna recognize this from a couple episodes ago when we visited my buddy Joel. He was out stomping. This is a stomper trailer. This is a stomper trailer. This stomper trailer is a little bit unique. It was designed to go behind our ag truck. This particular stomper trailer will actually go behind my personal ag truck on my farm and we'll be stomping here in the future and we'll invite Rice Farming TV out and show a little video of that too. Heck yeah, well, let's do it. Here's a Ag Truck 430 coming together. This is the very first stages of one of our Ag Trucks. It gets welded here. All the parts and pieces get formed and cut here and they start getting welded. You'll see it that it's welded in a rotisserie. So the welder can rotate the frame 360 degrees, ensuring that every weld is welded in the best position having the best penetration and the best quality we could provide to our customers. Nevada, Nevada. These are, so the, all these parts on the pallets here are gonna wet, make that wheel. Yes. Here is an ag truck V wheel used for spraying. You could look at its unique design of being very pointy at the tip where it presses down into the mud and then flare it out, giving it the flotation it needs going through a flooded rice field. This wheel here is the final stage of welding. It's set up onto this jig here, and it can be flopped into two different positions. That way we're, again, ensuring 
that all the welds are in the correct position for a good quality weld. Once this gets welded out, it goes straight to powder, from powder right to assembly, and then to the next nearest farm. Not in the nearest farm, right? And your spray booms, your spray rigs out here are unprecedented. Yes, first of its kind. First of its kind. What's the average spray boom for tractor operations before your rig? They were using about 110 to 120 horsepower tractors and putting a 60 foot boom on. We now have using a 260 or 300 horsepower chassis and putting a 90 foot or 100 foot boom on with a 500 gallon tank. The biggest thing that we have is we have the stability going through the rice field with a 120 inches from, from left wheel to right wheel. And we also have balance where it's equally balanced from the engine in the front, the tank in the middle, and the boom out the back. Let's us go through the field and sink in less. Even though that we weigh a little bit more being balanced, we could sink in less. With that, we're able to go with the higher horsepower and the balance, we're able to go faster through the fields. And most of our field speeds are spraying between seven and nine miles an hour. And you couple that with the 100 foot boom, we're covering nearly twice as many acres per hour. And that is exactly the innovation I was talking about earlier in this episode. Let's go. Come on, Norm. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So we're back at the beginning. Yes, this is, I want to introduce Norm. He is our lead in the ag truck division. This is his, uh, been his heart and soul has been poured into this over the last three years during the, all the development from the research and development to now the finished product. So let's talk a little bit about the finished product. We got the 2020 new ag truck RS260. We got the 67 Cummins in it. We got the Allison 3000. We got a new 3 8 high tensile steel frame in it. We got a 250 sack bin. We got the new operator platform, the new tier four final with depth system in it. Come, come see us at the farm show with all of our new features. All right, Norm. Thanks, <laughs> one, thanks very much, man. You want to say something about featuring the new um, Lexion Harvester colors? Well, yeah. I'm, I mean, I made a little joke earlier about if the audience recognized the colors. So Nevada, why don't you just kind of tell us the thought process? The AgTruck 260s, the new color scheme we have is so we can match the new Lexion harvesters in the, with their color scheme out in the field. Right, okay, and that's how we started this episode because a lot of people asked, what is SBM, Sutter Buttes Manufacturing, because they saw one of your older grain carts in the traditional yellow out in the field next to the 8600 which is now matching these colors yes the episode comes full circle high five nice okay anything else <laughs> i love I don't dude know. such a professional <laughs> shrug did you guys see that professional shrug <laughs> that's about it yep. wow what an amazing shop let me just do a little pan around here go ahead hey i don't want to interrupt i know it's lunchtime. well look at this place look at this place i got a question though Hey, Nevada. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about how much one of these bad boys costs? No, that episode is gonna be done at the Calusa Farm Show with the salespeople from Holt, our new dealer. Your new dealer, yes. Holt, okay, perfect. So they'll actually sh sell this as a matching set. Correct. Hopefully. Yeah, his and hers, it'll be perfect. His and hers, all right. Nevada, thank you so much, man. Thank this you is for awesome. coming out. Good yeah. for you, this is great. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah, look forward to doing even more videos with Rice Farming TV in the future. Yeah, let's do it, man. Yep. Okay. okay, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Nevada, you want to tell everyone to subscribe and give a thumbs up if they like the video? Yeah, two thumbs up even better, right? Okay, yeah, two yeah, thumbs up. Subscribe to Rice Farming TV. Okay. Thank and you check, all out there. And what's your website? You got a check website? Check us out at Sutter Buttes Manufacturing. That's awesome. Com. All right, Nevada, thank you so much. Thanks. Take care. So what does the robot welder do? The robot welder welds everything automatically. It's got a robot arm, the yellow arm in the back and the red box. Oh, okay, so a, a robot welder does exactly what it sounds like. It's a robot welding. Yeah. Okay. So I want to get a robot welder. Everyone needs a robot welder.